3D gesture control technology has been a big emerging trend here at CES 2012. We've already seen it in Microsoft's Kinect, and Samsung announced it would also have gesture control in its upcoming smart TV platform. We decided to take a look at a few smaller companies and see where gesture control technology is headed in the future. This is Leonardo, a new kind of 3D modeling software. It's really cool because it lowers the learning curve. 3D modeling is normally really hard. You've got to know a lot of math, a lot of programming. With this, it's all about your artistic abilities. You're basically carving your 3D model in the air using a kind of stylus called a bird. You also wear 3D glasses, and there's sensors that sit on your computer screen that perform uh, eye tracking. Right now, it's being used by some universities and medical facilities. A basic purchase is $1,000, and that includes the bird, the sensors, the eyeglasses, and the software. We're here at Soft Kinetic checking out their near-mode interaction prototype. Basically, it's going to bring Kinect-like gesture controls to your laptop. In the coming year, we'll see it as a clip-on for your laptop, kind of like a webcam. The year after that, though, it'll be built into laptops. Soft Kinetic's depth sense technology can detect objects as close as 15 centimeters. Connect, on the other hand, 50 centimeters is the closest you can get. Soft Kinetic software can also detect more details, like your individual fingers. So this could be used to replace mouse controls and keyboard controls. 3D modeling and controlling our desktop and notebook computers are just a few ways we'll see 3D gesture technology being used in the future. We'll have to see at CES 2013 how far this technology really goes.